Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with A Place Further Than The Universe episode number 3 reaction. Alright, before we start, um, like I realized that I have been making a mistake from I think episode number 1. That is, I've been calling um, the girl, the main girl, you know, uh, the one who is like, you know, wants to take that one step. I've been calling her Hinata from the beginning. Uh, while her actual name is Mari, while Hinata is the name of the girl that we met in the previous episode, uh, the one in the convenience store, part-time job, who, who has the part-time job. So, like, Shirase is that the black-haired girl, we know her, uh, that's Shirase. Um, Mari is the, the main girl, uh, the one uh, who wants to take that one step alongside Shirase. And um, Hinata is the girl that we met uh, in episode two, that is the one who is in the convenience store in the uh, in the part time job. So yeah, that's like the names. And uh, yeah, I've been making a mistake for from I think episode one, uh, because I usually like you know whenever there's like uh, whenever I watch an anime and I f forget the names, I usually go to my anime list, kind of check out their faces and see their names. And since Hinata and um, you know Mari they have kind of like the same facial like you know structure and, and the hair color is also kind of similar i mistook them and usually the main character that is like you know like i thought that the main since, since uh <clears throat> mari was the main character she would be on top so i i just like you know like you know checked the first two names that is uh, shirase and hinata so I thought like, oh, this is Hinata, which which actually it was not. Mari was a lot like, you know, underneath. She was the fourth one, fourth one in the character name list. Like all these confusion kind of made me confused. So yeah, now I know. So yeah, um, like I, now I'll remember the names properly. So anyways, um, that was that. I wanted to clear that out. Um, okay, so the previous episode, uh, we met uh, Hinata for the first time and uh, then like you know she also decided to join us and she has her own little goal which is a little bit different she says that she wants to you know like uh prove to people that i like you know like like we can even if i'm doing a part-time job i can still become uh like you know, one of the top scorers in in the tests and i can prove it to people who are just like you know wasting their time doing nothing and that we like you know people like us also exist who like you know even though we're doing these type of part-time jobs we're busy we can still do stuff like this like she wants to prove that but before that she wants to go like you know and like you know live her youth so that's why she wants to join them which is uh yeah which is like her goal or her like you know motivation and she joined us and we kind of went to uh, oh and we now have the like the base basic blueprint as to where we're supposed to go we're going to go to Fremantle first uh for that we need to like you know take a plane and everything and then in Fremantle uh we're going to like you know board the shirase and then go to antarctica <coughs> and for, for that like you know like we went to kabukicho to like you know for that and for the meeting that the meeting that they were having in the like, expedition meeting and there was like a lot of <laughs> chase there, <laughs> you know, like that whole chase scene. And then we get to know as well, like why Shirase was actually like, you know, saving 1 million yen. She wanted to fund the project because, you know, they're, they're, they're lack, uh, they have, like, you know, their funding is lacking. And he wants, like, you know, them to take her with them as well. So all that stuff. So yeah, like, let's see what happens in this episode. Uh, we still have one girl left to meet. Who we kind of saw a little bit of a sneak peek in the previous episode probably will officially meet her in this episode let's see so yeah this is episode number three of a place further than the universe so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go What's happening? Oh, this is the girl, the, the new one, the new girl. <clears throat> what? Okay.
All right, let's see what if we get me introduced to the new girl in this episode, then yeah, then I think we're probably going to get ready uh, to go to Fremantle. Oh, and we still have not properly convinced them to take us. So yeah, that's also something that we need to do. We also need to oh my god. Like ask for the permission. Like Maya needs to take permission from her mom first. I don't know why she's actually like you know delaying that. I guess like you know unless and until everything is con confirmed, she cannot say anything to her mom. Like yeah. Wait what? <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh. What happened? What? High school aged celebrity. New school. Celebrity. Oh, this girl. Oh, so she's. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay, yeah. She's like, wait, what's happening? Oh my god. Oh, she's already here. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. She is she Yuzuki. Yuzuki, okay. <laughs> Yes. Can't you see, like, you know, see? Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, this lady. I remember in the previous episode, she was one of, uh, she, uh, she was called Sh Shirai. She wasn't she. She's her mom or something. 38k. Damn. What? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> they're not listening. In my place. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh. oh, from there. Oh, she was also there. Okay. What? Because of that? Okay. <laughs> uh, my god. Okay, don't... Oh my god. <laughs> it 
Will that really work? I don't think so. Oh my god. Oh! Yo! Okay, here we go. She's either her manager or her mom. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Probably her mom. There you go. No. Shiraishi Tamiko. There you go. Uh, Tamiko. Manager and mom, I think. There you go. <laughs> She's like, oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is mine. And no. <laughs> of course not. Is that an apple? <laughs> What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <coughs> How about next Sunday? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, so she's like the first girl we see who doesn't want to go. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, that's a good, okay. Damn. The <laughs> Two days. <laughs> Five o'clock. Oh no. Hmm. No, I think she has some other plans or something. And they're talking about it in social media, so. Hmm. <laughs> mm. <coughs> <laughs> Self assertion selfishness. Yeah, okay. <laughs> my god okay uh, is this a school oh no no okay
All right, let's go and convince Yuzuki. Yeah, okay, here, here it is. Oh, there she is. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not how you did. Oh my god. Damn. Yeah, we're actually trying to do the opposite now. Okay, yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um what what I never have. Oh, okay. wait. Who was she talking with then? In well, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, there you go. So he, he was messaging them. Oh my god, great. Yeah. Well, because, yeah. We just met a few days ago, like two to three days ago. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. <clears throat> yeah. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. <laughs> I don't think that's... Oh my god, okay, you're complicating this. True. Yeah, let her take her decision. Oh, 
Ja. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is here. Or, or not, maybe not. Oh, it's, it's just the wind. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, no. I feel like. Is this really happening or are, 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 is she dreaming? Oh no, this is really happening, I think. No. Wait. Okay, this is a dream, I think. Yeah, this is a dream. She just falls from the bed. I think she'll just fall from the bed and just wake up. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> well. Ah. Yeah, no one's here. <laughs> okay. As they say, what do you unconsciously think it comes in your dream, you know? All right. Oh, well. Uh. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Oh, wait. Okay, they're here. Okay. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it must be you <laughs> National Institute of Polar Research. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Well, at least like we are now actually like, you know, confirmed that, yeah, we're going. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Hmm. Snow cat.
20 degrees damn <laughs> okay <clears throat> oh yeah it'll be lucky <laughs> True. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Ah, the whole team is gathered now, and we even have um, it confirmed that we're going. Like, up until now, it was kind of in a very weird position we were like okay maybe maybe not maybe maybe not but now it's like yeah we're going <clears throat> so okay now I, I guess now we'll have to just <coughs> <coughs> take permission from our respective guardians and <coughs> like Mari needs to get permission from her mom and tell her at least um, um, pro uh, the other girls as well I'm guessing Hinata I, I don't know who Hinata has in her family, but you know, anyone she she has on her family has to, she has to let them know as well. And uh, Shirase, I think they said something like Shirase's uh, guardian is her grandma. I think so. She needs to tell her grandma that. And I th I I'm, I think probably her grandma already knows because she's Shirase has been so much you know kind of what can I say. <clears throat> focused on going to Antarctica I'm sure her grandma heard about this a lot earlier so it wouldn't actually surprise her I guess so yeah and also we need to gain, gather some money we already have money but I think Mai needs to get some like you know like earn some more money oh there's still something left is that her mom yeah I think so who's this girl Challenge for Antarctica. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, that was um, episode number three. <clears throat> so yeah, here this episode, everything kind of gets confirmed, and we are actually going. Okay, so uh, in the beginning of this episode, we actually uh, we see who the other the th the fourth girl is. Her name is Shiraishi. Yuzuki, yeah. Should I see Yuzuki? Like there, there has been like a little um, what do you call it? Article. They they came upon an article where it's written like yeah, high school girl is going to Antarctica. You know, like a celebrity high school celebrity is going to Antarctica in the civilian expedition. Now this is like you know this is something that I. I think like it, it, it was supposed to be something like that like you know like they said that they're going to take civilians in an expedition so it would be probably something like this like yeah like people who are like you know they are civilians but they will definitely they will definitely be people who are you know probably celebrities or in the in you know in these type of business in, in this type of uh what do you call them showbiz business or something like that uh, who are popular who are like you know popular in social media or in uh, like you know like in, in, in normal like you know public who are popular uh, they would probably go in these expeditions because you know that would be more I don't know like more um, uh, what can I say I, I, I have no idea but I think that would be more like uh, likely to happen in these type of things actually so it, it was no surprise seeing like you know like a high school celebrity being the person who was actually going in the civilian expedition and they were you know the, the other girls were like uh like oh my god like we need to like, you know contact her we need to get into contact as soon as possible and then we actually meet shiraishi uh yuzuki uh for the first time she actually comes to us and she says that you know what why don't you guys go 
like i don't want to go uh, and i think he was actually not uh, like you know keen on going because they were actually talking about something in uh, in, in the messaging app you know she and her friends like those two friends that she made in school they were talking about like you know going somewhere i think like probably hanging out or something and that's why i think she was uh, like saying that no i don't want to go and this and that she was not that keen on going because she wanted uh, you know to be with her friends <clears throat> okay um so yeah now um like her story is like we can we can easily guess her story even without them actually telling it to us because her story is something that um i feel like a, a lot of people who are in these type of things like you know in these type of uh, celebrity business they they a lot of people actually go through this thing uh, like her thing was her problem was that since she is like in a celebrity uh, from a very young age she had always has to like you know go to different places like you know a lot of jobs and this that always busy so the time when you know, like you know kids are kids that is like you know in, in the teenage years or even like you know when they're uh, younger than their teenage years that's the time when they actually make friends you know like in the new school they make friends they kind of hang around with people like you know the, the people their own age you know they, they, they like their personality develops they interact with people from like you know other than your parents you p interact with other people and that's how your world kind of expands so during that age if you are actually just you know packed with jobs packed with work uh like you know from the beginning to the end you won't be able to make enough friends and you you become more socially awkward as you grow up and not only that like it's it's kind of frustrating like seeing your friends just like you know hanging around like you go to school like she had to go to school obviously like she cannot just skip school she had to go to school she saw people just like you know like having their own little groups friend groups talking with each other and them just like you know discussing someone just is just saying that you know what why don't we hang out after school and the other person is like yeah let's just go let's just go here you know and like have have, have a little meal or something you know and this and that are like these type of make people making plans while she's just sitting there just thinking about like like you know after this uh, school ends i'll have to go to do and go and do this job here you know i have a previous appointment there and this and that i won't be able to play with my friends and it's just it's just sad and it's just like you know like lonely so <clears throat> and obviously like since you know like you, you're like a little you're like a celebrity people won't get the like you know enough chance to actually talk with her and make friends with her and she kind of gets isolated and that's what happens here like you know like unless and until you make a f group of friends like you kind of get like you know like shifted uh, to the side and it's, it's very like you know weird feeling and yeah and so she 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 didn't want like you know she 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 was she was very like you know like she didn't want and now the one thing that i remember her mom saying her mom said something like oh i will try like you know from the next year to uh, reduce the amount of jobs that you have so that you are able to properly you know interact with people and make friends now like that's not actually how it works because as i said like you know like people like i don't know how it goes now but when i was at school this was actual thing you know like people used to make groups and i think it still exists like people still do this like you know like like obviously you won't be able to make friends with each and every person in your classroom and obviously there will be people who you click properly a, well, a lot well than other people who probably won't uh, click well with so that's why you know like people kind of interact with each other like kind of see like how they are and and then like you know they usually kind of make a little group of friends like four or five people like one group and um this and that like you know and there are also like you know very smaller groups as well with two people maybe three bigger groups as well like with five to ten people like it happens this is what happens in in a, in a classroom 
So, like, the, the thing that her mom said is that I'm going to make it from the next year, I'll, I'm going to make sure that you get less jobs, that you're able to interact with friends and everything. It won't work that easily because the groups have already been made. Like, what are you supposed to do then? You know, like, like if, if from the next year she gets enough time, what would she even be able to do? Because all people are just in their own group. They, they won't. And it's, it's kind of difficult, you know, in the middle of the, uh, what do you call it? In the middle of the year to suddenly accept a new friend. Like, I know that. Like, I've, I've seen a lot of people kind of getting, like, you know, like, isolated because of that. Because they are, like, you know, they somehow missed the opportunity to make friends before. And then when they come, they see, like, everyone's, like, make their own, made their own groups. So they either like you know are like alone for the rest of the year or they if like you know if if she, if, she, if that person is lucky enough like you know maybe they are able to make a friends after after a few you know attempts but yeah this is the actual thing so it wouldn't work either way so like sad like thinking about it like you know like she, she's she's at an age where she's supposed to just hang out with friends and everything while you know like but she she has to think about these type of things like you know these jobs and everything and yeah it's like nothing you can do about it like <clears throat> god anyways um so yeah that's why she didn't want to like you know go she was actually asking them to go <laughs> on her behalf but her mom comes in <laughs> and her mom is like obviously that's not going to happen and the thing that Shirase actually tells in the, uh, later on is also makes sense. She says that um, either we convince her or we don't and we are able to go. Like it won't work that easily. Like the way they thought before is like, oh, she actually like, you know, didn't want to go. So we go in her behalf. That won't happen. You know, like, like if, if she doesn't go, she'll be replaced by another celebrity. That's basically what's going to happen. So like their best bet was actually convincing her to go so that she can convince everyone to let them go with her. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's what ended up happening. But yeah, anyways. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, and then we get to the, the little flashback of how she was just like, you know, in her school and she asked two of the girls to become her friends. They did agree, but uh, as you know, like, you know, like, like she, she said something like, oh, we can't take pictures, this and that. And I think she was also talking with them. Okay. Uh, in, in the, uh, you know, in the SNS. Uh, yeah. Yuri-chan, how about next Sunday? Sorry. I just don't know yet. Yeah. She was, I think she was actually talking with them and they were probably like making like a little plan to go to some outing or something. And uh she like you know she obviously she had her own job and everything that's why she was kind of delaying it and that's what they were talking about i think and i think that's like the what was the big big reason why she did not want to go to antarctica because she wanted to go alongside them on their little trip but yeah like nothing you can you know like do about it job <laughs> So yeah, anyways, um, okay, and then like, you know, they like our, our group that is uh, Shirase's group, they, you know, Shirase comes in, she says like, uh, you know what, the mom agreed to take us with them as well, if we are able to make her agree to go. <laughs> and then their like, you know, mission starts to actually make her agree go to go with them, uh, no, 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 make her agree to go to Antarctica. And... <clears throat> Mm, yeah okay and then they like you know the, the next day they actually uh <coughs> go go to the to his the place where she's living uh to her flat and they tries to convince her but she says that no i don't want to go because i uh, you know like i i just wanted friends and because of my and the way I am, like, you know, my, my job and everything, I can't make friends. And I just want to make friends. And <laughs> Mari was so overwhelmed with that story. She's like, <laughs> can I give you a hug? And just stops hugging her. <coughs> okay. <laughs> and 
she she talks about her you know her thing like she says how like you know like all the time whenever she went to a different school you know she had this problem where like you know like everyone was like this is what i was actually talking about you know like everyone's like making their groups making their friends making like you know having their fun while she just goes there like you know for the time uh like studies in her school and when it's time to go home she just goes home or either she goes home or she just goes to her job and it's, it's a very sad way of like you know like living living your childhood and it's just like you know like these like you know these young celebrities like it's, it's just sad nothing you can do, do like you know do about it because that's your job but still like you know like at, at that age you're supposed to make friends and just hang around with people <laughs> but yeah uh she talked about that and she said how like you know she made like you know have some friends as well but since you know like she's like a celebrity she cannot properly even interact with them and their relationship are also kind of becoming you know a little clunky because of that <laughs> and then she says that you guys won't understand this and that <laughs> and <laughs> she does say mari and uh, hinata they're like what are you even talking about we just met a few days ago <laughs> like, you know we we like you know like it's not even a month we have met and like <laughs> like obviously i don't blame her she she just thought that she saw this group and she was like oh no like look at them they're such good friends like maybe they're like you know friends from childhood or something they're just like you know uh like they're going to antarctica like unlike me who has doesn't have any friends that's why they won't be able to understand my problem um like you know that she didn't even know that these people were all strangers a few days ago even they just met and then they just were like you know what let's go to antarctica and they were like yeah let's go <laughs> that was basically it that was what happened basically like it's even more baffling the, the whole situation with hinata is even more baffling in my opinion because she, she just met her like you know like uh, mari just met her in in the convenience store and she just overheard them talking about going to antarctica and she was like i'll also go and mari was like okay yeah join us like it's, it's so like you know it happened so quickly like it's it's really weird and that's why i i, I don't blame uh, yuzuki for actually not understanding and for thinking and mistaking them to be like you know friends from the like you know uh, beginning like she didn't even think that they they were basically strangers of even a few days ago so she <laughs> so she was she was thinking like oh these guys are friends for probably quite a long while but the reality is of it definitely was not like that <laughs> but anyways she actually gets to know that <laughs> and she's just surprised oh boy okay and then like you know in the next scene we see her you know in her, in her room she's sleeping and she sees a dream where everyone kind of tells her to go to a doctor with them and as they say like you know your dream is like your subconscious or whatever you think so that actually kind of gives us a hint that yeah she herself actually wants to go with them as well so you know she she wakes up and then she sees her group the two people have left now her two friends obviously like you know like okay, what can i say like they 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 were trying to actually like you know like interact with her like, and we we saw that you know like they they were kind of uh, inviting her to go and everything but she obviously she has her own job like no one is at fault here they just left and uh, yeah i wouldn't blame them i would just say that yeah it's just that it didn't work out between them as friends but now she can just you know go to antarctica with them and like you know have make some new friends um so yeah she comes out of her room and she says those those girls she sees those girls already waiting for her <laughs> <laughs> and mari is like uh, oh are we a bit too early or something <laughs> like you know she's all <laughs> oh my god and she starts crying and she's like and then she calls her mom she's like i will go to antarctica if these three of them also goes with me which works out pretty well for us you know like we also want to go to antarctica and yeah so and then we go to the um what was the place name of the place uh Polar Science Museum, National Institute of Polar Research. Yeah, okay, we get here and 
we start seeing different things and i think all these things that we were seeing yeah like these were things that we are actually going to see in when we go to antarctica you know like the the little train thing the bunkers and everything and it's like a miniature what can i say rep replication of the whole antarctica you know i think environment or something it's, it's something like that most probably <clears throat> like they are calling it a museum so yeah anyways um okay so yeah and then they have like a little group photograph they see like you know go to a planetarium kind of thing place where there's like auroras and everything and they talk about how aurora is very rare and they're like you know what so if we actually see auroras we will be the first you know house high school girls who actually went to antarctica and even saw auroras and they were just like you know thinking about it well yeah so that was it that was this episode and uh, yeah we have a uh, confirm uh method of going there how we're going to go there it's confirmed now you know no more like you know begging or you know just wandering around trying to <laughs> trying to find a way to go there no more of that stuff you know like we are officially going and our team are also officially like you know made so now all that's left is actually convincing your guardians and gathering money enough to go to Fremantle and then like you know like after we go to Fremantle everything's just set so I'm guessing we're probably going to take two or three more episodes for everything to go well, okay and we actually uh, reach Fremantle it'll probably take a few more episodes so yeah I'm looking forward to how they're going to go from you know do this from here onwards so yeah so that was it um, that was this episode this was episode number three of a place further than the universe so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah, so, yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of A Place Further Than The Universe. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.